Hello, welcome to our channel Aglasem Schools. In this video, we will be covering exercise 13.2 of chapter 13, Exponents and Powers of class 7th NCRT textbook. This chapter is basically about exponents and powers. So let's begin with exercise 13.2. So our first question is, using laws of exponents, simplify and write the answer in exponential form. So first part is 3 raised to the power 2 into 3 raised to the power 4 into 3 raised to the power 8. So how to solve this? If we have the base value, so when the base is same, the powers get added. So this is our formula which is a raised to the power m into a raised to the power n is equals to a m plus n. So from there we have 3 raised to the power 14 and that 14 is from 2 plus 4 plus 8 that is equals to 14. So moving to the next part, we have 6 raised to the power 15 divided by 6 raised to the power 10. So how to solve it? Again we have base value that is same but the sign that is divide. So for divide we have a formula that is a raised to the power m divide a raised to the power n that is equals to a m minus n. So from there we have 6 raised to the power 15 minus 10 that is equals to 6 raised to the power 5. So moving to the next part we have a raised to the power 3 into a raised to the power 2. So from there we have to solve it in the same way as we did it earlier. So from there we have a raised to the power 5 as our answer. So moving to the next part we have 7 raised to the power x into 7 raised to the power 2. So from there we have 7 raised to the power x plus 2 that is equals to 7 raised to the power x plus 2. So moving to the next part we have 5 raised to the power 2 and the whole power is 3 divided by 5 raised to the power 3. So how to solve this 5 raised to the power 2 and whole power 3? There is a formula a raised to the power m and the whole is whole power is n that is equals to a m into n. So from there we have 5 raised to the power 2 into 3 that is equals to 5 raised to the power 6 divided by 5 raised to the power 3. So from there we have another formula that is a raised to the power m divided by a raised to the power n that is equals to a m minus n and from there we have 5 raised to the power 6 minus 3 that is equals to 5 raised to the power 3. So moving to the next part. We have 2 raised to the power 5 into 5 raised to the power 5. So from there we have a formula if our powers are same and our base value are different then we have a formula that is a into b raised to the power m. So from there we have 2 into 5 raised to the power 5 that is equals to 10 raised to the power 5. So moving to the next part we have a raised to the power 4 into b raised to the power 4. So from there again we have the same formula that we did it earlier that is a into b raised to the power 4. So moving to the next question we have 3 raised to the power 4 and the whole power is 3. So from there we have a formula that is a raised to the power m and the whole power is n that is equals to 3 raised to the power 4 into 3. So from there we have a m into n and that is equals to 3 and 4 trees are 12. So moving to the next part, we have 2 raised to the power 20 divided by 2 raised to the power 15 into 2 raised to the power 3. So how to solve this? We have a formula for this that is a raised to the power m divided by a raised to the power n that is equals to a m minus n. So from there we have 2 20 minus 15 into 2 raised to the power 3 that is equals to 2 raised to the power 5 into 2 raised to the power 3. So how to solve this again? We have a formula that is a raised to the power m into a raised to the power n that is equals to a m plus n. So from there we have 2 raised to the power 5 plus 3 that is equals to 2 raised to the power 8. So moving to the next part we have 8 raised to the power t divided by 8 raised to the power 2 that is equals to 8 raised to the power t minus 2. So moving to the next question that is simplify and express each of the following in exponential form. So our first part is 
टू रेज टू दावर थ्री इंटू थ्री रेज टू दावर फोर इंटू फोर डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री इंटू थर्टी टू सो हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल राइट टू रेज टू दावर थ्री इंटू थ्री रेज टू दावर फोर एंड राइट फोर एज टू इंटू टू डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री इंटू एंड थर्टी टू कैन बी रिटर्न एज टू मल्टीप्लाई फॉर द फाइव टाइम्स नाउ फ्रॉम देर वी हैव टू रेज टू दावर थ्री इंटू थ्री रेज टू दावर फोर इंटू टू रेज टू दावर टू डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री इंटू टू रेज टू दावर फाइव सो फ्रॉम देयर वी कैन यूज द फॉर्मूला दैट आर बेस इज सेम सो दावर्स गेट एडेड एंड फ्रॉम देयर वी हैव टू रेज टू दावर फाइव इंटू already we have 3 raised to the power 4 divided by 3 into 2 raised to the power 5 from there so how to solve it first of all write 2 raised to the power 5 and this denominator gets converted into a numerator and we write it like 2 raised to the power 5 minus 5 so from there we have 2 raised to the power 0 that is equals to 1 now again 3 raised to the power 4 and this 3 is inverted into the numerator that is equals to 3 raised to the power 4 minus 1 that is equals to 3 raised to the power 3 and that is our answer so moving to the next part of the same question we have 5 raised to the power 2 and the whole power is 3 into 5 raised to the power 4 divided by 5 raised to the power 7 so how to solve it first of all we have to use the formula that is a raised to the power m and whole power is n that is equals to a m into n so from there we have 5 2 into 3 into 5 raised to the power 4 divided by 5 raised to the power 7 so from there we have 5 raised to the power 6 into 5 raised to the power 4 divided by 5 raised to the power 7 so again we have to use a formula that is when our base is same then the powers get added and from there we have 5 raised to the power 10 divided by 5 raised to the power 7 again we have to use a formula that is when our base is same and the sign is divided so the powers get subtracted and from there we have 5 raised to the power 3 as our answer so moving to the third part of the same question we have 25 raised to the power 4 Divided by five raised to the power three, that is equals to five into five raised to the power four divided by five raised to the power three. So from there we have five raised to the power two, and whole power is four divided by five raised to the power three. We can write twenty five as five raised to the power two. So from there we have to use the formula a raised to the power n into n. From there we get five raised to the power two into four. Which is equals to five raised to the power eight divided by five raised to the power three. So again, we have to use the formula that is a raised to the power m divided by a raised to the power n that is equals to a m minus n. And from there, we get five raised to the power five as our answer. So moving to the fourth part of the same question, we have three into seven raised to the power two. Into eleven raised to the power eight divided by twenty one into eleven raised to the power three. So from there we have three one minus one into seven two minus one into eleven eight minus three. We have to use the formula a raised to the power m divided by a raised to the power n that is equals to a m minus n. And from there we get three raised to the power zero that is equals to one. Into seven raised to the power one that is equals to seven into eleven raised to the power five that is equals to eleven raised to the power five from which we get seven into eleven raised to the power five. So moving to the fifth part, we have three raised to the power seven divided by three raised to the power four into three raised to the power three. So from there, first of all we have to use the formula that is when our base is same then the powers get added. So from there we have Three raised to the power seven divided by three raised to the power seven, so that is equals to three seven minus seven because the sign when we invert it into the numerator that is equals to minus seven, so that is equals to three raised to the power zero, which is equals to one. So moving to the sixth part, we have two raised to the power zero plus three raised to the power zero plus four raised to the power zero. So any number whose power is zero, which is equals to one. 
So from there we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is equals to 3. Moving to the seventh part, we have 2 raised to the power 0 into 3 raised to the power 0 into 4 raised to the power 0. So from there, any number whose power is 0 that is equals to 1. So from there, we have 1 into 1 into 1 and that is equals to 1. Moving to the next part, we have 3 raised to the power 0 plus 2 raised to the power 0 into 5 raised to the power 0. So any number whose power is 0 that is equals to 1. So from there we get 1 plus 1 into 1 and 1 plus 1 is 2 and 2 into 1 is equals to 2. So moving to the next part we have 2 raised to the power 8 into a raised to the power 5 divided by 4 raised to the power 3 into a raised to the power 3. So from there we get 2 raised to the power 8 into a raised to the power 5. 4 can be written as 2 into 2 raised to the power 3 into a raised to the power 3. So from there we get 2 raised to the power 8 into a raised to the power 5 and 2 raised to the power 2 and the whole power is 3 into a raised to the power 3. So we have to use the formula that is a m and the whole power is n. So from there we get a m into n. Now how to solve this? 2 raised to the power 8 into a raised to the power 5 divided by 2 raised to the power 6 into a raised to the power 3 that is equals to 2 8 minus 6. So from there we have 2 raised to the power 2 into a raised to the power 2 that is equals to 2 into a raised to the power 2. We use the formula that when our powers are same and base are different that is this. So from there we have our answer that is 2 a raised to the power 2. So this is all from our side. So there are two more questions that is left so which we will be covering in our next video and for more such informative videos keep browsing Aglasan schools. Thank you.